today we are in Warner Robins, Georgia, and we are at the Museum of Aviation. And behind me here, I have a B1B, a Boeing B1B uh, Lancer. It's a giant, beautiful aircraft right here. And so we're gonna go inside, check it out, and take some pictures of some more airplanes. So come on with me. I'm Bob Dennison. Welcome to the museum. Thank you. And I've been volunteer here since uh, 2006. I have over 9,000 hours of volunteer time. And I'm mainly a reset man. In other words, something that has a propeller on it. Not these jets. I don't know nothing about jets. <laughs> except they got fire coming out the back. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I started here in 06. Uh, we stopped in our motor home. I got interested in the old airplanes. So I stopped two months of spring, two months in the fall, and then it become three and three, then four and four. So the boss upstairs said, uh, we're getting a B-17, would you like to come and be a project manager? I said, I'd love to. So I said, yeah, I can sell the coach and build a house. That's what I did. <laughs> so five years ago, I went to Bunker Hill, Indiana, and uh, took this B-17 apart. There's six people on that crew that transported it. And me and my son uh, from the Air Force took it apart and brought it here. It took us about a week and two days to get it here. And from there it got completely depainted and took apart more. And now it is going back together. It's polished, not painted. Got four engines back on it, which we worked on all the engines, get them so they'd turn. And uh, it's setting on the landing gear now, and we're redoing all the interior which takes about eight years to restore one. Eight years? Eight years. Eight when I brought it here, the boss upstairs said, uh, how long is it going to take? I said, well, at least at least six. He said, how much is it going to cost? I said, about $400,000. And they like to croak. But I'm sure that's what we got in. <laughs> if you figure everybody's time, because I got, like I said, $9,000 volunteer. There's 15 guys volunteering working on the B-17. Wow. So it all adds up fast when all the parts you have to buy and manufacture and uh, it's not cheap. Wow, so that one will be out here? It'll be in World War II hangar. Wow. It's, that's where, it'll never come back out until you take the wings back yeah. out. <laughs> so that's not going to happen. It's going to stay right where it's at. And also we have a Tuskegee display down there, which is the black squadron during World War II. And I restored that airplane. Took me two and a half years to do that one by stopping and traveling. Got that one done. They have a nose section of the B-29 bomber that's on the ramp down there that I restored all the inside of it because the B-29 is elevated and you can't see in the B-29 except the belly. But we did the cockpit so people could see what a B-29 looked like. Yeah. And it just happened to be, I was in the last squadron of B-29s in 1959 in Rome, New York. We put them in the boneyard. Yeah. So 2006, I went out there for a vintage show of light meat, walked in the hangar, and I said, oh my God, my buddy said, what? I said, that's my old airplane. He said, how do you know that? I said, tail number, 0016. <laughs> Never forget it. So it's in a museum restored in Tucson, Arizona. That must be so amazing. <laughs> So that's just part of my career and part of my life, you know. And I flew C-54s for five years. Out of New York, I went and flew the Arctic Circle for two years. Oh. Started to Iceland and go to Alaska. And that's where all the radar sites are, or used to be, they're going now. Then from there, I went to the Philippines and started flying 54s into Vietnam four or five days a week. So after that tour in the Philippines, I came here for nine months and worked on this 124. And then I went right back to Vietnam on Caribou's, which is down in World War II. I was a line chief over there. Well, thank you for everything that you have done. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Thank you for asking, and I'm always happy to share. Thank you. I'm proud of my career. Yes, yes, you should be. retired in 1974. Yeah, well, I'm now 87 you. years old and still around there. But... <laughs> well, thank you so okay, much no for problem. your time. Thank, thank for your you, time. and thank you for your service. We uh, just finished checking out the inside and now we're gonna go check out the outside and see 
what the, the big giant airplanes and the hangars. So it's just going to be a little tidbit. So you're going to have to come down here and see it yourself. Uh, just like Bob said, there's a ton of stuff here to see. So bring all your friends, come down here to Warner Robins, uh, Georgia and check out the Aviation Museum. Let's go in the backyard and see what we have there. So now I am standing in the back of the museum surrounded by beautiful aircrafts, each with their own story. The one over here is the destroyer. It carried actual bombs. It has an uh, area underneath there that I'll show you in a minute that had actual bombs in it, which is super sad, right? That we have to have uh, airplanes that carry bombs in the first place but it is part of history and you know I love history. So uh, this is a really neat airplane to get to see in real life. Over here, we have the Star Lifter. It actually carried cargo and uh, the people. So, uh, and that one was actually made uh, by Lockheed Martin here in Georgia. Uh, and I know my, my uh, little brother, Andreas, he loves airplanes and he would love this one. He is always joking about uh, putting one outside of my house as his apartment in America. So, what do you think about Andreas? Now we're going to go check out some other ones. So this is our end of the day here at the Aviation Museum. It was really neat and unique to see all these different airplanes up close. Like where else can you get to see this, right? And it's so close to Atlanta. We're about, I'd say maybe an hour and a half, hour and a half to two hours outside of Atlanta right now, uh, south. So it's not really far. Uh, and another a tidbit, Next to us over here is the Air Force Base, the Warner Robins Air Force Base. So when you look for this area, just look for the airplanes, uh, you're coming down 75, I think it's exit 146-ish, don't hold me to it, okay? Uh, and just look for the Air Force Base. Well, we gotta go because there's a lot more to explore in the area, so I'll see you in the next town.